Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well and staying safe. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Leo. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment, share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's take a look, Leo, at your week ahead, calling in your angels, your guides, spirit and source energy for Leo. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. Guidance for Leo. Your energy, Leo, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Receive. This is a really nice energy. It says, you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So this is really nice, Leo, because I'm seeing that you may be receiving a gift. You may be receiving gratitude, love, affection. The energy that you have put into a situation will be coming back towards you this week or very soon, Leo. And it's going to be very obvious to you when this happens. You're, it's not going to pass you by. You're not going to have your eyes closed. You're not going to um, wonder whether this person was being sincere or not. No, you will understand it as being a genuine act or um, energy you could say toward you. So there's a really lovely energy. And when this person reaches out to you um, or this offer comes toward you, uh, receive it. Okay, make sure that you accept because this is going to be the fair exchange of energy that needs to take place. So you've got some beautiful, abundant energy coming toward you this week, Leo. Very, very positive, very beautiful. Let's take a look at your next message. Surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try and fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or, or her own healing. How true is this, Leo? How true is this? So you may be in a situation where this is applicable where you're feeling like you need to heal someone or fix someone in some way physically emotionally mentally you know it can be in different ways what i'm seeing here is you know spirit's saying take a step back leo take a step back because you can't um this person needs to take some responsibility for their actions their decisions their choices in life and how they are toward you so you need to take a step back here leo Surrender the idea that you can fix someone because in this instant, there just is not a case for it. I'm also seeing this as vice versa for some of you, this energy, someone is trying to change you. So be very aware of that this week. You may know who this person is. You may know what situation this is in your life. And for others, I'm seeing you may be in the dark about it. You may be in the beginning stages of a relationship, for example, and you just haven't really felt this out properly. Um, or it hasn't become obvious, but just be very aware that a person close to you or, or around you in some way, they want to change you or they want to influence you in some way. So just be aware of that, Leo. Let's take a look at your next message. Yes, we have a relationship. It's very highlighted here. Very important this week for you. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love. So you may be wanting to get back onto 
the right path and to the right communication. You may be wanting to reconnect with someone in a relationship, whether it's romantic or otherwise. Now, this can be a holistic relationship, but you both need to be on the same page because with this energy here, it's not going to be on the same page if they're trying to change or fix you or if you're trying to change and fix them in some way. Um, they need to be held accountable. They need to be accountable for his or her own healing or actions, vice versa. So that's something to be um, very aware of this week at the energy exchange around you. Let's take a look at this message. Spark of divine. What a beautiful energy. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am part of all creation. Wow, so powerful. So Leo, what I'm seeing here for you is that you, you are going to have a stronger connection into spirit this week, stronger than you have had previously. If you have been working on your spirituality, um, it is going to, they're going to come through very powerfully in your dreams or in another way symbolically. So you're able to hear them or see them. Um, and, and they're coming through to help you in an area of your life, most likely to help you in an area of life that's about this, you know, it's about this relationship because the card's coming up or it may be around this giving, receiving this opportunity here. Um, this relationship could be between you and an employer, for example. So they're coming in to give you assistance, guidance um, to to put a spark of passion in your heart, in your mind for something or someone that is also coming through. There's a creative energy here as well. So creative energy, um, if you're having to think of anything creative or come up with new ideas and concepts, this week is very powerful for it because you have this connection into the divine. We have the Knight of Pentacles uh, where you're at right now. So Leo, uh, you may have an earth sign around you. The Knight of Pentacles also indicates that there is a strong resonance with just staying where you're at with things. Um, but Spirit is saying it's, it is time to get moving with um, this relationship or um, with this exchange, this give and the take that's going on here. So it's time to make that change and that shift. So move slowly. You don't need to rush into anything, um, but but you need to get moving with something or, or with some action here or, or at least start to plan for something. That's what the energy I'm feeling is. Start to um, make some plans for some changes. Interesting energy. Okay, Leo, we have the world energy. There's a there's a completion that's happening here. Um, there's a vulnerability around you this week, Leo, in some respect as well. I'm seeing vulnerability here and slow, steady, reliable energy around you that you're embodying. It's time to get moving um, in, in the right way in this relationship. And it means tying off loose ends or changing um, the situation, even being vulnerable with your partner or with your boss or with your um, whatever area of life this is for you, Leo. You know, being a bit vulnerable there and, and opening up your heart or, or opening up the conversation in some kind of way is important. And you're going to have victory there. You're going to have success. The Six of Wands is about taking action, and having the success that you deserve. So this is a very positive indication. You're going to be able to manifest what you want here in regard to this change. This changing of the times. The cycles are changing here. And the dynamics are changing. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look here at what is above you. We have the Queen of Wands. A fire energy. You may have another fire sign around you, Leo. The Queen of Wands. This is a very dynamic energy, but very reflective. So you're very capable. Um, if you are in an, a circumstance this week where you're having to demonstrate skills, abilities, knowledge, you're in the best position to do that. I see a lot of confidence around you um, this week in that regard. And we have the page of wands. Um, this may be a child or youth or someone younger than you around you, significant in some way in your life. The page of wands means a new outlook. A new outlook, a new beginning, a new fresh start here. Something is wrapping up and you're moving into a new day, a new dawn, Leo. 
So we've got some interesting energies around you. Be very aware of a shift in a relationship, um, whether that's romantic or otherwise in your life this week. Leo, spark of the divine is here. So you've got this beautiful creative element coming into play with spirit messages. And you've also got be open to receiving, be open to receiving um, gifts or um, an offer of some kind, um, an energy exchange, you know, be open to that uh, this week, Leo. So you've got some really nice energy around you. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.